because we're the last hope. For mankind, I mean. The smart people, the geniuses, they've already been taken. Zappho's got them. Big science has got them. Big pharma, big soy, big corn. These soy corn holding assholes. Which takes us to our next listener who called in. Really interesting stuff. Ron, I'm tired of soy. And I am definitely tired of soy sauce. I'm tired of soy latte drinking bitches. I went to a restaurant and some geisha has the audacity to hand me a hot towel. She thinks I should take a bath in front of everyone in the restaurant. It ain't decent, it's a fucking insult. And then she tries to give me some shit called edamame. Those are damn soybeans, you ain't fooling me. Ten of them little fuckers and they want to charge you five dollars. What do you think, Ron? That soy bullshit gave me man boobs. I'm, I've got my hands on them right now. I'm hanging up now, I'm, I'm getting all excited again. Interesting. Big soy, big corn, or big con. They pulled this lie with contrails. They did it with contrails. Con trails only work on people with an IQ over 150. Cons! Hmm. Like we're all idiotic convicts staring at lines in the sky. If preaching this truth is wrong, I don't want to be right. What they do is make you believe contrails don't work. It's genius. Listen. Burn your computer right now. By my math, we've got less than three months left. Seriously. Either that or 30,000 years. Depends on the math. I used to be an accountant. Before I understood everything, I was like you, a drone being harvested. Not the kind of drone that vaporizes people from space. And somebody explained to me why we have the largest military budget in the world, bigger than all the other nations combined, but it's just a bunch of assholes playing with remote control planes. They can work from home, harvesting innocent people. Well, no one is going to harvest me. I'm beyond harvesting. I don't eat any corn products at all. Not even sweet corn. But when they come, when they land in full, and come they will, because some of them are already here, man. They're already here! <laughs> that terrifies me, and it should terrify the hell out of you. Hold on. Back to the truth seeker line. Yeah, I did like you said on the last show. I've been doing them prepper Kegel exercises so I can store rations in my ass once the abduction comes. Because we all know that in the prisons of Lord Zappo, only the truly prepared will survive. At this particular juncture, in my ass, I got a pound of rice, two energy bars, a commemorative plate, a tiny saw, a deck of cards, a nitty bitty radio, some loose change, a prophylactic, a masonry bit, a first aid kit, a nudie magazine, a carton of cigarettes, some chewing tobacco, a copy of my medical records, and a mammogram pillow. Cause I'll be damned if I'm gonna sleep on the cold hard cell floor. That's great work. Listeners, let me make one thing clear. I'm not paranoid. I'm not even delusional. This is Blaine County Community Radio.
Yeah. <laughs> 